The United Nations says there are reasonable grounds to believe Hamas committed sexual violence against women in their surprise attack back in October. Trey Yingst has the details. As the fighting grinds on in Gaza, the UN is putting sexual violence in the spotlight, releasing a new report detailing evidence that Hamas committed rape, torture, and other war crimes during the October 7th attacks. There are also reports that it could be continuing, with some alleging widespread mistreatment of captives still being held by the militants. Inhuman and degrading treatment has been committed against captives. And we also have reasonable grounds to believe that such violence may still be ongoing. The UN is stressing that this report is preliminary and the true extent of the sexual violence perpetrated by Hamas will take years to investigate. Still, Israeli officials are hoping this goes a long way toward disproving skeptics who see Israel as an aggressor. There's a big denial in the world that sexual violence was used as a weapon of war. And this is the first time the, the big wide world is seeing that this is a fact, a horrific Horrible fact. Meanwhile, the situation in Gaza continues to deteriorate. On Tuesday, the U.S. conducted its second airdrop over the territory, delivering 36,000 meal equivalents. But it's not enough, and diplomats say only a new ceasefire deal can guarantee enough aid gets in to avoid mass starvation. A deal is on the table, a deal that would bring the hostages home and that would alleviate the terrible suffering of the Palestinian people. Hamas should accept it immediately. Those ceasefire talks are ongoing, but a senior Hamas official told Fox News Tuesday there's still a long way to go before an agreement is reached. In Tel Aviv, Trey Yingst, Fox 32, Chicago.